Intersection on Detroit's west side is closed due to malfunctioning traffic lights, and it may have been the cause of a fatal crash. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now with the latest from the scene of this crash. This is just a terrible problem. I am live on Warren at Beachwood, and as you can see, Detroit police, they have Beachwood blocked right now so that this problem doesn't cost anyone else their lives. If you take a look at these traffic lights, you will see that the light is red here on Warren, and it is also red, if you can see, on Beachwood. And when the lights turn green, there's going to be a green light in both directions, too. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at this video from Beachwood, you can actually see that you have both a green and a red light. What would you do if you were coming up to this intersection? Just a very confusing situation. Well, one motorcycle driver, he came up on this intersection yesterday around 6 o'clock. He only saw the green light on Beachwood, went through this intersection, hit a van, and it cost him his life. People who live in this area, they say that these lights have been a problem for some time and that they've reported it. Sometimes it'd be the same color on both sides or the timing be off sometimes. The light right here on McGraw and uh, Warren, that traffic light right there is, you know, messed up too, you know, so all of them. Now you can see right now we have a double green light. Green light on Warren, green light on Beachwood. A very dangerous situation. So something to be aware of that this can happen. Now Detroit police, they say they have called out the workers who are supposed to fix this. They called them last night at 6 o'clock. So far it is not fixed. Um, we're told that Detroit outsourced its lighting service for the traffic light. So we're not sure who is supposed to be out here to fix this. But 7 Action News is going to keep on top of this, look into who is responsible, and find out how this could happen. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.